Hello, and welcome to East Side Story for Stardate June 1998. I am Brian Peterson, and this is Pang. You're in for a wild ride today on East Side Story, because we are going on a bombing run against corporate scumbags who are using advertising as their own death grip. But first, did your education turn out quite the way you wanted to? Many university graduates these days are finding there are no placements for them in their chosen career paths. Nicola Marin and Jennifer Conroy bring us this report on two university graduates who are struggling out there. Lock in a target vector, Tang. <laughs> And you bring it up to sublight speed. <laughs> you know, residents of the downtown east side have really been getting the poo kicked out of them lately with all the closures of downtown east side hotels. Now the downtown east side residents association is trying to make a positive step forward by supplying housing with a new, smaller model suite. Agassel Lindewan brings us this report. This is evasive action. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Coming on the left side, Tang, take care of it. A fundraiser was recently held for the Tesla Gallery of Moving Images. The guests included Monica Lee and the Immaculate Misconception, and we were there at the Brickyard to check it all out. Let's take a look. Stay on target. Stay on target, Tang. Target of coming up in 10,000 meters. Okay, this is it. You know, in 1989, Callie Lassen tried to get some advertising time from a local broadcaster to counter the BC forest industry's propaganda machine. He was refused, and he started the magazine Ad Busters as a result to counter deceptive advertising techniques. So this bombing runs for you, Callie. Get ready, Tang. It's also for you, Verena, our great producer from Brazil who's gone back home. This is it. for June 1998. If you've got any questions or comments, give us a call at 254-5844 or visit us in our Earth location. Now we're going on to bigger and better things, right, Tang? We'll see you next month. The, the idea of turning over a broadcasting system to, once again, a, a half dozen or dozen private corporations to maximize profit by any means necessary, basically commercially carpet bombing the population, is absurd. It's anti-democratic, it's culturally ridiculous, and it's based on some enormous myth that uh, the free market is a democratic mechanism because it forces broadcasters to give the people what they want. You know, that's a lie, that's a, it's a half-truth, there's an element of truth to it. But in, the reality is that uh, the market system doesn't, uh, the commercial media don't give the people what they want, they give the advertisers what they want. They gave the people what they want. First thing they have to do is get rid of all the ads. That's No one wants those. So they're giving us what they want. They're giving the advertisers what they want. And they give the people what they want within the range of what they can make the most money off of. Uh, not, you know, and the range, that's not the, the full range. It's a much narrower range than what we ought to be able to select from. And in a democracy, we have to be able to choose outside of just the things they can make money off of in our broadcasting system. Because then we're stuck with... Uh, uh, commercialized kid shows, Rambo movies, and shopping channels. Because that's where they make all their money. Uh, and we need a lot more than that if we're going to have a sane and rational and humane world. <laughs>